I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zip line and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. Close now. Almost down. All right, to the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry. So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines. Not I. It is proven. She's the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon to 
accompany you and your sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. Cold. Very cold. A new outfit. And a weapon like Artox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum.
Stocking up. Thought he could hold this little corner of the cut forever. And then you came along.
Do not mistake my position as a shaman for physical weakness. I took the brave, and I never cried out. after many years. Let's see what this blue gleam is worth. It's a good camp, worthy of the work you've done to secure it for us. to me.
got their attention. Works, but I know how to stop it.
his ice before I even breathe out.
can't spare the weight. Outlander. It would be my honor. I've heard of you, Antress. Each of the many verses of your song tells of an impossible victory. The notes echo across the cut. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. That I know. My song used to echo around Banur. Omnak, the hunter of legendary machines. That's why I'm here. For another. They call it the Claws Beneath, or they did when I was younger. Its defeat would have given my song a fine end. Oh, yeah. I used to travel between Banur and the Cut without stopping to sleep. But this trip, my bones ache, Huntress. But you, out hunting Aratak, leading your own Werak, if half your song is true, you are the only hunter I trust to go in my place. You want me to hunt for you? Not just for me, no. For an old friend. You want me to hunt in your place? Is that some kind of Banuka custom? Well, perhaps it should be, but no. We survive and we prevail, until we fail to do either. I confess, this is not easy for me. For any other machine, I would die as I have lived, a new hunter, weapon raised. But too many good lives have been lost to the claws. Throwing my old corpse atop the pile accomplishes nothing. Better to live in a world without the claws than to die while it still makes children orphans. Sounds like you've got a reputation. To be Banuk is to push your body to its limits. I found my limits higher than most. Fearsome machines needed killing, and in my youth, I found I had a talent for killing them. Even now, my name carries such weight that when the claws beneath re-emerged, the Werak came to me. Do you still have the same faith in yourself that your Werak seems to have? Perhaps I did. Before I held my bow in shaking hands. Noticed, for the first time, the spots on my knuckles. What a strange thing it is to be old. To stare backward and see such distance. But to stare forward at a looming wall. This machine, the claws beneath. Why travel all the way to the cut just to hunt it? Some songs. They include a refrain. The return of a past moment. It seemed fitting. You've hunted this thing before. Must have been twenty winters past. We were so close to bringing the claws to bay. Closer than anyone else ever got. We? Me. And my friend. 
He was a chieftain of my Werak then, a skilled hunter. Every few years, the claws would emerge in a new location. I knew of two chieftains he'd sent to their burial pyres. My friend became the third. This hunt... I had hoped to complete it in his honor. This is... obviously important to you, Umnak. Are you sure you want someone else to take down this machine? No, I am no longer a match for the claws beneath. If I ever was. If I face it, it will kill me. Of this I have no doubt. The Banuk blood in my veins screams at me to take on the claws myself. But I must see it brought down. And dead men see precious little. All right, Umnak. I'll do what I can. I've no doubt you can do quite a lot. The stories say the claws beneath returns here only once every six winters. The whispers I've heard say it now makes its home on the northeast edge of the cut. Hunt well. Songs are rituals. Um, my favorite is simply jokes. Uh, You're some... Aloy, right? My pop... Burgund, I mean, told me you might be heading up to see me. Varja. Pleasure. Hey, that spear is really something. You've customized her, haven't you? I've made a change or two. You've got an eye for weapons. I wish these Banuk agreed with you. I can't seem to sell scrap to a Glentalk around here. Everyone wants boring old bows and spears. I like the more unusual stuff. And the Banuk can get unusual. Like that spear Aratok hauls around? An ice rail. Ooh, or that weapon of Araya's? What I wouldn't give to poke around inside one of those. Feel the lightning on my fingers. Or inside of anything, really. Last commission I had was a month ago. A weapon that spat fire. That didn't go well. Well, I'll keep an eye out for anything interesting on the weapon front. Oh, that would be great. Especially if you find anything like Aratok's spear or Araya's weapon, yeah? And if you stumble across something that spits fire, that's probably my last commission. I'd kind of like to see it again. I'll see what I can do. Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got a nice rail, just like Aratox. You want to take a look? Uh, are you serious? Y yes, yes, I'd love that. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> Obvious design flaw. So if I replace these, yeah, that should... <sighs> right, so believe it or not, she's operating at, let's be generous, half her potential. What's with the she's? Oh, Pop says all weapons are girls. I don't think he realizes it's a compliment. Um, well, listen, if we had a Thunderjaw's mandibles to work with, her gears would be well and truly greased. And I know where to find one, if you want to go hunting with me. Remind me what we need to fix up this thing? That Thunderjaw's mandibles will do it. So... Let's say someone you know happened to have a weapon like Araya's. You don't. See for yourself. Of course. Look at the... So the coils generate the spark, but the power source isn't even bolted in. I won't lie. She's beautiful. But there's beautiful and then there's beautiful. What we need is a Stormbird Talon. Lightning flows over them like water off a goose. And I know where one is. Hunt it with me, I'll turn that weapon into your new best friend. And second best. You're sure you can fix up this thing? You bet. Probably. Just need that Stormbird Talon. A weapon that spits flame, huh? Like this one? I took this thing off an Osaram bandit. Think you could do anything with it? <laughs> you got my forge fire back? Well, if you took down Olgrid and his goons for this thing, I guess she's yours now. Why don't you finish it for me first? Make it... make her into the weapon she was supposed to be. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna need a bellowback snout. Any bellowbacks will do. Can you handle it alone? I 
think I can manage that. This forge fire of yours, what do you need to finish it up? Like I said, a Bellabax snout ought to do it. I'm not picky. So we need parts from a Stormbird and a Thunderjaw? And you know where to find them. That's right. It's gonna take some traveling, though. We can find a Thunderjaw out in the Valley Meet, and a Stormbird roost near the Free Heat. I'll pack and meet you out there. This'll be fun. Okay. It's hard to believe that you need to kill that card. I've always wondered how to I heard of a shaman once who drank machine oil. I think the conqueror banished him. To stand before him. Some do with the frozen tallneck. It's distasteful. Good to see you, baby. Aloy! Oh, what fortune. I thought you'd already gone up the mountain. Gildan? <laughs> it's good to see you. Strange, since you're not stuck in a ruin somewhere, but good. Oh, listen to her. <laughs> Circumstances being what they are, one might expect a blunter tongue, but not her. <laughs> Rumors abound in Song's Edge. A campaign to exercise some sort of daemon, led by a Nora girl who became the chieftain of a Banuk Werak? Ha! <laughs> Would've sounded like nonsense before I met you. So, uh, I came, I suppose. Uh, I'm not sure what I have to offer you, but... I understand, Gildan. Thanks for coming to see me off. Watch yourself up there, girl. You owe me a story when you come back down. This is impressive. But how long can it last? Pleasant days. Chosen a poor time to visit the cut out ladder. You're looking strong. Long notch is well stocked, as you asked. And our but our purpose was to take back the mountain. Now what? Stay prepared. Sharpen your spears. Should we not return, defending the cut falls to you. If our chieftain agrees with his course. Sounds like good advice, but let's hope it doesn't come to that. Chieftain? The weight of command is no small burden. I can see that. I take it you haven't spoken to Araya yet? Why should I? This is what she wanted, to return to Thunder's drum. It is her only care. So I should have known she would find a way to push aside my spear. After the Karja took my sister, not all of her came back. What happened to Araya when she was a captive of the Karja? As a shaman, she's adept with machines, tracking them, stunning them. The Karja used her to capture them for the Sunring, where they were unleashed upon the innocent. They made her part of their blood sport. The shame she suffered beneath their pitiless sun. She survived. She endured. Endured by reminding herself of the spirit, her purpose. And now that's all she has. Tell me what happened to the first expedition. Rhea led the way to the summit, but it was blocked by a great door, some kind of cauldron, new metal. We tried to break through, but it was unflinching. We were exhausted, no way forward and machines behind. I made the call to push back. It cost us greatly. But to remain would have cost us everything. 
I'd hope to never subject a ray to that again. What do you think is beyond that door? I do not know. That expanse of metal, that dead hum. Nothing sacred belongs there. Machines and death, that's what the mountain holds. Death for us or for the daemon. And if we do find the spirit? Then perhaps we should put it out of its misery. For what it's worth, I'm glad you're coming with me. Someone has to keep Araya safe. Culprit's been caught and his punishment is in progress. Now, let's put this murder behind us. Inatut has chosen his path. Let the clouds shoot. Trust in the blue light. All will be well. Be the champion. Wish you luck on the mountain. Aloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider, someone ignorant of our ways, but no, not ignorant. I. Are you trying to thank me, Araya? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right. Stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. <sighs> and my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No bundok has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratok would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave. But you are not Aratok, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Ban Or from the distant north, a young shaman of the Owl's Watch, a remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. It was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. 
He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmström, a month's march from Banur. He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we gonna find up there, Horea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt that Damon has tried to hide the way. I still need to take care of a few things. Understood. I'll be here. forget this.
Varja can finish her forge fire now. Responsibilities to attend to. I would stick. Find anything interesting lately? I might have. Let's talk. I've got what you asked for. Show me what you had in mind for the Forge Fire. Finally! Was feeling like I neglected her. And that's a little too close to my family life. She's done and she's yours. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Thanks for your work on the Forge Fire. Pleasure. I mean, you couldn't be more of an improvement on her last owner. What a pile of slag he was. If I find anything I think you'd like, I'll be back around. You better. Get out of this.
storm silences. anymore. Got that part you need? Perfect. Already got machine oil on my hands. Here it is. One storm bird town. <sighs> Let's do it. I haven't had this much fun in ages. Watch and learn, Aloy. Only... Don't stare directly at the sparks. <clears throat> okay, so I pretty much had to break her in half. But what's a staff? A stick. One thing I like about sticks, you can put them back together however you want. Which you did. This thing looks a whole lot more dangerous. She's better than dangerous. She's a genuine Varja special now. Take good care of her. What you did to that storm slinger? That was some impressive work, Varja. Hey, it's nothing. I just helped her become what she was always meant to be. They grow up so fast. Okay, Varja, let's move on. You don't want to catch some of that Karja sun? Nah, you're right. I guess I can't blame you for that. as high as we go okay you all fired up sure feels good to be out of knee-deep snow so we've got a thunder drop I'm ready to do this on your lead
There. Varja should be able to fix up the ice rail. Found the part. Ready to fix up that weapon? I am always ready to fix up a weapon. Never thought I'd be glad to see the inside of a Thunderjaw's mouth. I sure am. Every machine's a big box of tools. Once they stop trying to kill you, that is. Trust me, Aloy. You won't recognize this ice rail when I'm through. There. Oh, she's perfect. A spear's a spear, right? Poke slash done. Boring. I adjusted the chill water flow, rebalanced here, strapped on a launcher, and now she shoots freezing spikes. Ta-da! You weren't kidding. More beautiful, more powerful. That's my guarantee. Thanks, Varja. These three weapons are fine work. Are you kidding? I can't remember when I had this much fun. I should be thanking you. I'm the one walking away with the weapons, aren't I? Seems wrong to charge you for giving me an opportunity to do what I love doing. Don't tell Pop I said that. Here, whenever I tinker with weapons, I go through fistfuls of this stuff. Maybe you'll get some use out of it. Aloy, how are those weapons treating you? They've done right by me so far. Glad to hear it. Return the favor, yeah?
there you are. Just like Umnok said. The northeast edge of the cut. Umnok said I'd find the claws beneath nearby.
We can talk or we can hunt. It's over. It wasn't easy, but that rockbreaker won't be hurting anyone anymore. The claws beneath brought low by an outlander. <laughs> this part of your song will travel far. I don't know if I'll ever get used to that. I've found people rarely live up to their songs. You're an exception, though. And you've done me a true kindness. My foe is buried now, like so many of the hunters it killed. My friend, my chieftain. He would be pleased to know his fate won't befall anyone else. Take this in thanks. I believe you've more than earned it. No, no. Don't take the beauty of the world it needs you. Prove to be in the How many of us died in this world? And yet one murdered Karja is an unforgivable crime. If Ikri's not coming back... Yeah, she'll be back. Really? She never falters. But if she has... Then I'm the one who can throw a spear the farthest. And I'm the one who can climb ice the fastest. You have passed one test, Lenders. The next test is of silence. I could forget what warmth feels like out here. father's guilt onto the new Karja King's shoulders. He's a different kind. A Warak chieftain from the Nora. Strange omens. What do you make of it, Shaman? My thoughts on this are... clouded. I must... take in the smoke of burnt wires to clear them. We are of the White Teeth, come down from the jawbone of Benur to test those who would run with us. The test? In those hunting grounds? No. It is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. We shall wait. Then we shall bless their attempt. Then we shall leave. What does this ordeal involve? To scale the glacier's face and endure four days and four nights, sustained only from the frozen ground of the machines. Our shaman has blessed the ordeal and permitted their harvest. Metal to fashion weapons. The rest is forbidden. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone. Their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth mark their attempt. How generous. So who are the white teeth? Warriors. The first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. We are well served, eh, Shaman? Every day lightning cracks in the smoke of battle. Every night a new name to honor in song. Aren't you even going to look for your missing hunters? In time. As months pass, the meltwater often carries the bodies out. <sighs> Unbelievable. If there's a chance they're alive, then I'll look for them. Even if they did still live, they will not accept your aid, Outlander. To us, survival is sacred. Nothing else can be relied upon. We'll see. Survival is sacred. So they leave people to die? I saw the frozen tall neck many years before I ever saw a living one. We run into each other again. If I didn't know any better, I'd think you were following me.
That must be the cave that shaman told me about. Long way down. And not natural either. Got too much already. flying machine over a little. Something's been hacked out of it. Maybe I can find another of these flying machines. way to get that flying machine over here. Door lock. I'll need to configure it. If those punk technicians think I'm gonna sleep on them waltzing in here and screwing around with the drone routines, <laughs> they have seriously underestimated my sense of mission. Let's just reset that hollow lock. Echo, Sierra. space. I didn't ask for a 
bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught. Check the area with my focus, maybe. I didn't ask for a bunch of flying cameras. I need security, not surveillance. And security means firepower. As God is my witness, I will not be caught squirting blanks if and when a major act of terrorism desecrates these facilities. No one's touched this machine since it got sealed in here. I wonder if my focus can pick anything up. Shouldn't be hard to remove. I'll show it to that shaman when I'm back in Song's Edge. <laughs> 